Hey guys, Matt from JumpSupply.com again, here with another video review and informational video, I suppose. Today, we're going to be working with our outdoor LED parking lot solution. Now, if you've ever purchased these in the past or have had to replace one, you know that getting them out correctly is uh, kind of a bit of a challenge, and it's pretty expensive down the road if you, if you do it wrong. So, what I've got for you today, a fixture without a mount, and we're going to figure out how to get the right one. Um, let's get to it. On a quick side note, part of my job is to constantly be looking for new products or better products to offer you guys. This is by far one of my favorite outdoor solutions. It is comparable, has the same features as the $1,000 fixtures, it has the same warranty, has the same outdoor IP66 rating, and has a beautiful light distribution. It's an elegant fixture, but it's priced half as much. This is a really good outdoor solution. Now this particular fixture has a type 4 light distribution. And what that means is that the majority of the light goes to the sides and in front of it. This makes it perfect for illuminating parking lots if it's up against a wall or on a pole on the perimeter facing inward. So the first and most common solution to mounting these fixtures is called a knuckle mount slip fitter. The knuckle mount coming from the fact that the fixture's head can rotate up to 180 degrees and the slip fitter being the bottom part. Now this is used in a situation like back here when you have a pole, in our case up to two and a half inches or about six and a half centimeters that the fixture will go directly over and these set screws, in this case there's four of them, will clamp down onto the pole to lock it into place. This is a really quick and really simple solution to mounting these fixtures. The second most common option is a sidearm shoebox mount, which is this guy right here. The end with the gasket will be factory installed up against the fixture, and this side goes up against the lighting pole. The stamping gasket right here sits on the inside of the pole and helps support the fixture and take the weight off of these nuts, which will be tightened down. It's used in a situation like this, where you can see the fixture is coming off of the pole. The next step is to hang the whole fixture. So you put the stamping washer and the bolts on the inside of the pole facing out support the fixture and begin to hand tighten the bolts. You'll use a five and a half millimeter Allen wrench to tighten it up all the way. Make sure that the wire is obviously fed through. After that, you wire the fixture up and it's good to go. The next type of mount is a simple yoke mount, which is this guy. It allows the fixture to swing 365 degrees and mounts from either two bolts right here or a larger bolt in the center. This is used typically for indoor applications when the fixture is going to be used as a floodlight, but it can also work outside. Now the fourth and final option for mounting the fixture is what's called a trunnion mount, which is this guy. It comes factory installed, has option for two bolts that are nine millimeters apart, no cord to go through, and it's really built for applications where there's more wind or vibration uh, to help really secure the fixture down while still being able to use it as a floodlight. The trunnion mount has a lot of extra uh, support or integrity kind of built in. It's got two larger bolts, but it also has two set screws in these holes, if you can see it, that completely restricts motion. So those are the four most common ways to mount the LED parking lot fixture. Um, if you have any other further questions or want to make sure it fits for your application or would like to see me model the facility, uh, go ahead and give me a call or you can always live chat me in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. I appreciate your time. It's LED Expert Matt. Have a great day.